How are you doing YouTube and welcome to episode 12 of my Minecraft Vanilla Let's Play. How you doing guys? How you been? You enjoying the series? Or are you not? <laughs> so anyways, last time we were doing whatever we were doing and this time I'm going to go into F5 and as you can see there's been changes straight away. Today's episode is pretty much going to be a catch up episode. I want to kind of, there's been a lot that you haven't seen that's been going on um, off camera and there's a lot I want to kind of just I could I could spend a whole episode just kind of showing you and that's what I'm gonna do so that way we're all up to speed um, so you guys are literally up to speed so we've done the boat thing which I haven't really used um, I've cleared this area out I've made it a little bit more spacious apart from that alleyway there um, yeah I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this archway yet. I'm kind of in, in two minds to do st certain stuff. But anyway, as you can see, I'm going with um, I'm going with the stone brick and nether stairs and nether brick and that sort of stuff. I think those two contrasts are lush. And it's, it is very commonly, commonly, common, I can't even commonly say it. Yeah, it's used a lot um, in, in Minecraft designs and the reason why is because it looks fantastic. So what I'm going to do is just chip away here. Have I got any more stairs? Nope. So yeah, I, I really like it. I am a fan of it. I'm not going to lie. But um, yeah, so we kind of looking good. So as you can see, that's, that's the kind of idea. Kind of getting rid of torches where I can eventually. And this will be all kind of just lit up in certain places where it be... I think pumpkins are the probably the easiest, cheapest way to do it, I guess, rather than glowstone, unless you oh, wrong way, unless you got like a, an abundance of it. So we could go in theory, we could go like I don't know this. We could just put that in the. Don't want to do that. I forget there's a big hole there. Okay, no pull up. Can I get up? Okay, just put that there like that. Kind of natural, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have a mess around. So yeah, pumpkins, yeah, they don't look great and fantastic, but I don't know, it's just it's a good, a good way of lighting up. Um, there is other ways I can do it that make torches look less bland, but um, I might try that off camera. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm off camera just playing about with designs. This is kind of, a, like I say, a popular design. And yeah, I might even run with this for a lot of it. Until I find a decent, de another combination, I might change it up. But yeah, N remember, nothing's permanent in Minecraft. You, once you place it, it doesn't have to stay there. Remember that. Right, so today I'm gonna give you a, a little bit of a rundown of what I've been doing my latest project is this so I'm gonna pretty much have some basic stuff down here uh, nothing major but I'm gonna get into the fancy stuff um, so if I come across any fancy stuff like video wise like you know automated mob farms like I don't know automated cow breeding and cow cookers and you know that sort of fancy stuff is going to go up here I'm going to make kind of like a lab experimental kind of place um, and uh, yeah it's going to be kind of uh, yeah all in this big cliff I'm going to probably do it around this kind of in this general area it doesn't have to necessarily go in there I could branch it off to there I don't know yet I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of going with it and then I'm just kind of see what fits best but this cliff has got, you know, once you get a big, massive, extreme hills kind of cliff, you, you've got a lot of area to play with, and that's good. And it's up, not down. I was going to go into the ravine, but the trouble is, being on a server, if this was a single player, I would have done it. But um, being on a server, going into a ravine is quite tricky, because someone might accidentally uh, break into your house without knowing. Um, yeah, and they know none of the different. Especially if you're using stone bricks, they think, ooh, stronghold. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's really early. Um, <laughs> so I do apologise. So yeah, I've gone going with kind of this design. It's been used many, many times before, but I like it. So yeah, deal with it. 
Okay, so next project I want to show you that we've been doing off camera is, I mean, you might have seen that, that's the bridge. The bridge is now almost finished. I've got ideas to maybe make a kind of fishing fishing hut around here maybe. Um, definitely, um, I'm not going to, That's. I don't think that's going to be storage now. I can't see that being storage, but I don't know. If once I've got my heart set on a definite answer, that's either going to be uh, storage with a glass ceiling or because I think that would look cool. But, but the trouble is, I don't know where I want my storage, whether I want it um, in the lab up there or whether I want it down here where I'm pretty much living closer to everyone else. You know what I mean? So the lab is right up there out the way. Uh, this is kind of the living quarters where I'm going to be closer to getting to, you know, go and see what other people are doing, etc. So this is, you know, easy access from here. Um, up there, it's not so easy access, which means I might even go into, um, to get up there, I might use a minecart, but I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing it. So with that being said, me thinking about kind of building up into that cliff, there is something, pr I'm, I'm in two minds of doing. Um, there was a walkway that I walked up there, you, you know, when I was showing you the cliff, um, or I was thinking of maybe tunneling in I'll show you in a second, and when I, as soon as I get there, we are getting there, don't worry. So if we get up here, we can probably see it. You can see it from here. So there's a torch there, literally where my crosshair is now. There's a torch there. That ledge there is what goes into the cliff here, okay? Now there's an arch here. Can you see this arch underneath? Now I might make the staircase like stop here and go across into the mountain and have like um, kind of like try not to break the terrain so much but kind of have maybe I'm thinking having a like um, like a tunnel with some like you know ginger windows or something I think that might look cool I might try it out but if it failing that I'll just hollow it out with cobblestone again and go over the top um, with the original plan I've got a feeling the tunnel would look literally bling bling up there so up here, um, I haven't finished terraforming, don't worry, that's not the final product because I want to try and make this look natural. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we are, I am, I've been working off camera um, with a mob grinder. Now, as you can see, this, this cliff holds a lot of darkness and it's like a real big kind of, it kind of goes in a little bit. So to make a mob grinder out of this would be spectacular. Um, I'm nowhere near finished, and it's it's but it's coming on semi okay, I guess. Um, let me see if I can nerd pull up there. Sixty four blocks. Yeah, I've got two stacks, more than enough. So if I nerd pull up, you can see what I've been up to. Once again, going with like the never brick and and stone brick. I think I think that's a really nice combination. Looks really good. I need to start chopping and changing it a bit. I don't want everything looking the same. Hopefully, we'll get up. I originally start, you'll see a, a mix of two like versions. So up the top here where that creeper is, they're like spawn pads. And the reason they've got the half slab is to stop um, spiders spawning. But then underneath, as you can see, I've changed my mind. And I've gone with the piston um, setup. So basically, if we go down a little bit more so you can see. We've gone with I've gone with pistons. So what happens is um, all it is is pistons and a bit of redstone, piston, redstone, piston, redstone. Uh, sorry, repeat a redstone, repeat a redstone, repeat. So they don't sort of jam up and mix. So it's just a, it saves you on redstone repeaters as well. Um, I don't know if you guys remember Doc M's um, en Enderman farm. Well, these are ex this is exactly the same kind of set up with the pistons. So they, they spawn on the pressure pads, activating the piston, which pushes them down into the water trench here. So that, to me, is more efficient. The only trouble is with that, it's extremely expensive because I plan to not just do a couple of levels, but I plan to go as far up as I can, as far up as the spawn rates will spawn. So yeah, I'm gonna go really high. And then I'm gonna cover the front with kind of glass stained glass and I might do like a like a creeper head and maybe a zombie head 
you name it, I'm going to pretty much decorate the stained glass. That is that is the plan anyway. So as you can see, uh, a couple of creepers spawn in there. And eventually this will go all the way up. And this will be hopefully an efficient spawner. I'm not not sure. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of studying it and building it at the same time to see what works. Uh, I need to get rid of all the... Uh, the, the spawn areas here, like there's a zombie down there, I need to kind of eliminate that. I've noticed that when I'm up here, they spawn, uh, monsters spawn a lot more, so I might make, because the base is going to be there at some point, I might make a walkway out here. So if I make a walkway, um, I might be able to encourage spawn rates. Um, not 100% sure on the chute here, the chute where they're going to land the kill chamber. Um, not 100% sure that's going to be the final place it's going to be, but we need um, them to take full damage. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm still working with it, and once I, it all depends on where I'm putting everything else as well. But in the meantime, um, this this the spawn the spawning pads will remain the same. So I need to keep working on it, which means I need a lot of iron and I need a lot of slime, which is why I built the slime farm. Um, so I found a slime chunk, managed to get the sticky, you know, for the sticky pistons, I need the slime balls for that. Um, this is where the stash is, pretty much for, just for that. So we need redstone repeaters, stone bricks for decoration, sticky pistons, you name it. So we need a lot of iron, um, and a lot of redstone, and a lot of slime balls. So I'm going to have a quick sleep. No, I won't, I'll just, I'm just going to risk it. So, which means... Um, this brings me on to my next project. Um, so what else I've been working on is because I need some of those things. Uh, I've been looking up on the internet some videos, and I've been looking at another farm. The only trouble is this farm is nowhere near as efficient as it seemed on the on the YouTube video. It does work, and I'm running out. I've run out of torches. Damn it. One of the main projects we need to do is light up as much of this area as we can a little bit more. I mean, it's lit up, but nowhere near as it, what it should be. So, so anyway, let's go over here. Now, this took me ages. Now, you guys have only seen uh, you know a numerous amount of episodes, but in between those episodes, I've literally done some back-to-back -back recordings, so that buys me a lot more time. So that's the, the secret behind it. So what I do is I, I record episodes one after the other if I've got something to do or do a little bit off camera and then come back to recording another one. Now, because I don't post these every day, it gives me enough time to play catch up. And I'm telling you now, the build building this, this little miniature iron golem farm was not the problem. The problem was, was getting the villagers in there. And that took me what seemed like forever and I'm not even joking I think I've got 10 in there and then they started breeding as far as I'm aware but there's one problem as well all that hard work I've noticed a couple of times I, this used to be glass but I noticed a couple of times that um, they were glitching out so um, yeah that was a bit of a problem I've noticed one here earlier as well so hopefully we've still got enough now this has been running probably um, since you guys saw maybe episode six, yeah, so three and a half stacks, not great, but it will do because it's free, I guess. Eventually, there's better ones out there. This is literally very, very basic and very, very quick to knock up. The longest part, obviously, is getting the villagers. Whoa! I think it's a dead rabbit. Oh, we survived. Well done. Well done, son. What about the zombie? Yeah, he survived as well. So yeah, that's the Iron Golem farm, the very miniature one. It's literally on the same principle as Doc M, but it's like literally scaled right down. Um, I probably will end up knocking that down once I've built another one. There's one called, I don't know if you guys heard it, the Iron Titan from Tango Tech. Um, he built the Iron Titan, and that's going to be... That is going to be one of the biggest projects, I reckon, on the server. So, yeah, I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera. Oh, as you can see, there's a nether walk farm, which means um, the, the the nether fortress has been opened up, and I've found a spawner. Um, the whole fortress hasn't been opened up. I mean, there's still some behind the world border, but there's enough there to, uh, to keep me going with a blaze spawner, maybe, a blaze farm. 
that sort of thing. The only trouble is it's a million miles away from the portal and I've tried putting portals elsewhere. I might have to try and reposition it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, I need to learn out how the mechanics of um, the portals work because I know you divide something by eight or something and then that gives you the, the exact location, but who knows. Um, but I need to reposition that. There's a creeper out here. I need to reposition that portal so hopefully that we can get closer to the, the nether fortress. Um, so yeah, I, I've I've been busy, guys. Um, what do you reckon so far? Do you like it? Um, also, don't forget, I need some food. And not trample my stuff. Never mind. Can we cook slabs? Oh yeah, that's good to know. Certain things you can't you can't burn. I think you can't burn doors. I'm not 100 percent sure. But anyway, yeah, what do you think? So guys, um, help me and the people online decide what we want to buy. I and mean, we're not totally bored yet. And we, haven't, you know, everyone's like concentrating on on building their own little bases and stuff like that. Um, once again, it is a private server, so um, unfortunately, sorry guys. But um, you know, when we eventually have done all our bases and stuff, it, get, it gets to a point where we don't know what to build anymore. So suggestions in the comments section. Um, also, Minecraft names. I'm going to eventually start um, trying to build some sort of um, monument or a, uh, some sort of place for you guys so you can have your own armor stand. I think I showed you before, and before I go, I'm going to show you one more time. Um, so you can have your own armor stand. And let me just take this guy out. Boy, he, he almost killed me. Not. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm thinking of making... Um, it is a bit cheaty, I have to cheat them in. Um, but that's because it's purely impossible to get everyone on here and try and get your head, you know, your player head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it armor stands... Um, I'm gonna make like a them go on like a little like um, like a, I'm gonna put like a I'm gonna make it look nice. That's all. So so if people that have subs, you know subscribers, I'm gonna give you an armor stand. Oh well, we got quite a few customers there. And say for example, you know you subscribed or whatever, or you put your Minecraft name in the in the um, comment section. I'm gonna do something a little bit like that. It's a bit more fancy than having, say, a tree or something like that with your a sign on it, with your name on it. I wonder, actually, have I got a sign here? I know I've got no signs. I wonder if you can put a sign on the on it. Can I make one quick? I'm gonna make one quick. I'm gonna try something out here. So yeah, I just want to kind of dedicate a, a, something to you guys. So you know, as a as a thanks. So. But that's down to you. But that's only going to be... And also, I'm going to be reading comments out. Um, so any decent comments that I find... Like, I've, I swear I've said this in the past. Oh, no, you can't. That would have been cool. And that's not quite the same, is it? But I could always put it on a block. So imagine that be your stand. I could put it on there and put your name. So your name... Namer... Ear, you know what I mean? So something like that, but obviously more fancy than a, gra gla a grass block. So guys, thanks for watching. That's a pretty much everything that I've been working on off camera. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you know you're you're enjoying the series. Don't forget, get involved. Get in the comment section. You know, ideas for builds later on. Um, Every 10 episodes or so, I will be reading comments out as part of like the Let's Play. So, and I'll be putting them on screen. Um, also, if you subscribed or whatever, and you know you, you're enjoying this vanilla, um, you can have a statue if you wish. If you uh, get your Minecraft name in there, because that's the way I'm going to do it. I should be able to put. Uh, there's a way I can get your player heads. Um, sorted and I can get that in a kind of like a subscriber museum um, also everyone that just puts their name in will get a um, there'll be different tiers I'm going to try and make it there's, so there's different tiers of um, armor so you go go leather iron gold and diamond and those different tiers will be um, in in regards to whether I don't know for example don't quote me on this but you know if you're a subscriber you know you get 
iron armor or if you just pass them by you get leather armor you know what i mean if you uh donate to me which is not essential i'm not like saying you gotta do it um you can get diamond armor for example so stuff like that but i'll let you know once i get that interaction but for now th there's no harm in getting your names in the uh in the comment section but anyway i think that's pretty much all i've been working on so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. As you can see, there's a lot going on. Um, you kind of didn't, hopefully you didn't expect half of this to be getting built. But um, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying it. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your feedback and all your comments and stuff. So yeah, don't forget, like, comment if you haven't done so already. Please subscribe and I shall see you in the next episode. You guys take it easy and have fun.